All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Frank's Crypto Corner, where we bring you all kinds of news and information about cryptocurrency, news on cryptocurrency, stake in the cryptocurrency, mine in the cryptocurrency, how you can use a credit card, the BlockFi credit card to get rewards back in Bitcoin cryptocurrency, all kinds of good information. Today, we're going to be talking about AMP token. Uh, a lot of good things. They just passed its first uh, governance um, information. We're going to go over that. Also, um, the price is at a perfect position right now if you're going to get in because the price is a little bit lower and we're going to talk about that. Um, do me a favor. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any up and coming videos. So on this channel, we basically talk about how one day everybody's going to have cryptocurrency and I think AMP token is going to be one of the reasons that that happens. We're also going to be talking about the Sheets gas stations, the convenience stores, how AMP token ties into that. So with that, let's go ahead and head over to some AMP token. All right, we're over here at Coin Market, and here we're already at the AMP. AMP is at trading at a little over four cents. It's point zero. Right here, 0 0.04367. It's up almost a percent in the last 24 hours. Couple things we're gonna point out here. So the coin um, has been at over five cents recently, uh, but it's over here at this again, four, uh, four, zero, four, three. But interesting thing is down here, we go ahead and we click holders. And I went to three months here. So the couple things that go over. So a lot of people are staking the coin and uh, stake in the AMP, and a lot of people are starting to know about AMP token. Well, this is the addresses of people that own the AMP token. So going back to July, July, August, September, I mean, literally, it's going to be October here um, in a day or so, but we're only talking three months. But three months ago in July, right here, there was 23,000 addresses, 23,650. We'll say that's July 3rd. August 3rd, so 23,000. August 3rd, right here, August 4th, it goes from 23,000 holding addresses to 33,000. Okay, so that's 50% more people in a month holding the token. Again, the price is really good right now being under five cents. So let's keep going on this chart. Now that's August 4th. Let's go to September 4th. Started at 23,000. Now it's at 33,000. Let's go to September 4th or 5th. 39,000, so 23 to 39,000 in 60 days. More and more people are buying the AMP token. More and more people are holding it. The price is still at a good position right now. Don't forget here on our channel, everything is for educational purposes only. We do get um, like to make sure we go over this information, but at the end, you do have to um, evaluate it, um, check out all your stats and everything. You are making your own decision. Everything is for educational purposes only. Go on to the last one right over here. September 27th, take a look at this. 43,000 holding addresses. So up at the top here, 43,000 holding addresses. September 27th. So over here, again, September 3rd, 39,000 addresses, 43. But again, right here on the 5th, 24,000. Now September 27th. 43,000. That's a lot of people that are holding the AMP, that are buying the AMP token. So let's jump over here to their Twitter account. And what does it say right here? AMP, the first AMP governance proposal to establish the AMP community grant program has been po posted to vote. Okay, so they're talking about how it's been posted to vote. And right above here, it says the first AMP governance proposal now has passed. Right here, now has passed with 99% of the votes in favor. The AMP community has voted to establish the AMP community grant program with initial funding of one billion, one billion with a big B, one billion, one billion AMP tokens. More details to come. Much appreciation to all who voted on the proposal. The first AMP pro government proposal to establish the AMP community. It has been voted on and is now passed. So this is going to be big. We're going to kind of go over that here a little bit. Um, one thing I wanted to do real quick is I wanted to talk about Tom Brady um, and Aaron Jones, the running back from the Packers. So let, this last Sunday, we saw a nice cryptocurrency thing. I'm going to go ahead and play the commercial for you here so you can see it. But now they're talking about another player that's getting into cryptocurrency. And I'm going to read that. As more and more celebrities, as more and more blockchains, as more and more things are starting to talk about cryptocurrency, you guessed it, it's going to all be about cryptocurrency here in a year or two or three. 
being in the front of it when these tokens are good at looking at. I mean, you know those things that go 10x, 100x, 5x, you know, 14x, 30x? Well, AM token, I mean, there's a lot of potential. Let's take a look here at this Tom Brady commercial. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and play this commercial here. Tom I talked to you about something. We talked about it. I got another 10 years left. Not that. This is big. What do you think? I'm in. Let's call everyone. Hey, yeah, I'm in. Yeah, sounds good. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. This guy. First, even if you wanted to come back, we wouldn't take you. Yes, you would. Yeah, yeah we, we would. would. You're right, we would. What's up? I'm getting into crypto. With FTX. You in? I believe I'm in, but still hate you. Understood. Is he in? Yep. Did he say he hates you? All right, so here we go. We got Tom Brady. He's won more Super Bowls than any player still playing. Um, for people that aren't into football, he got traded to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And just last year, his first season, he won the Super Bowl. Okay, well, now on Sundays, they're talking about there's this something big. Oh, he's not retiring. Oh, no, it's bigger than that. Hey, I'm getting in. Hey, I'm getting in. Hey, I'm getting in. What are you getting into? Crypto. Cryptocurrency. So guess what? We're all in the right place at the right time. We're ahead of this one. So do me a favor in the bottom there. Give me your comments. What do you think about Tom Brady um, talking about cryptocurrency? And we're also going to talk about Aaron Jones here. All right, we're over here at Twitter. And it says, breaking news, Green Bay Packers running back Aaron Jones. By the way, two weeks ago, Aaron Jones ran for four, uh, did, did scored four touchdowns in a game like on Monday Night Football. Amazing game. Now, Aaron Jones has signed a long-term deal with... Crypto exchange FTX. In addition, in taking the equity stake in the company, Jones has also decided to be paid in crypto. Tom Brady and Stephen Curry also own equity in FTX. Stephen Curry, you know, he plays uh, for the Golden State Warriors. So are you starting to see it? That um, NFL players are starting to get into crypto. Um, now more and more people are going to hear about crypto. This is amazing, everybody. All right, we're back over here at Coin Market. Right here, starting the AMP token. It's at number 57th cryptocurrency in the world right now. It's traded at a little under um, under five cents, zero four three two three. Um, it's down two percent in the last twenty four hours. It's um all right over here back at Coin Market. We got AMP token trading at a little a little under five cents. Um, it's at zero four three. It's up about one percent in the last twenty four hours. It's actually down six percent, almost seven percent in the last seven days. That's what I'm talking about. This is a really nice price right here. Um, moving up the chain here a little bit, we're going to Shiba e, uh, Shiba Inu at number forty seven. Um, there's still five zeros there. Um, they're talking about trying to kill one of these zeros. It's up about a half a percent in the last twenty four hours. Wanted to go over number thirty eight pancake swap cake. Um, is the C-A-K-E. It's trading at $18.68. It's up about 2% in the last 24 hours, but it is down about 6% in the last 20, in the last seven days. Another one that we like to talk about is Ethereum Classic. This has actually been down for the last few weeks. Um, it's trading at $46.22. In the last seven days, it's down about 8%. Um, this this uh, token cryptocurrency was at around $65, $66 a few months ago. So keep an eye on number 28. We got number 20 Cosmos, um, A-T-O-M. It's actually right now trading at $34.65. It's up about almost over a half a percent in the last 24 hours. And it's actually down about 13% in the last seven days. Bitcoin Cash, number 18. It's almost getting up there, that 500. We were just talking yesterday how it was way above the 500s and 550s and 600s and 650s. This is trying to make some gain here. In the last 24 hours, it's up about 2.49%. <clears throat> so if you think a Bitcoin cash is going to go back up, this could be easy money to get yourself in position in that one. Top 10 here, Dogecoin is at number 10, trading at about 20 cents, down about 10% in the last seven days. Polkadot is at number 9, it's down 10% in the last seven days, trading at $27.98. Tom Brady actually talked about how we actually get paid um, part of his salary and commissions. Um, it would be in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. Um, $138. It's actually up about 1.21% in the last 24 hours, down 5%. XRP is at number six um, at 94 cents. Um, it's up about 4% in the last 24 hours. Cardano is at number four. Remember when I was talking about if it was ever under $2.50? Take a look at this now, guys. $2.09. Um, it's down 6% in the last seven days, um, up about 1.63 1 1 in the last 24 hours. Ethereum's under 3,000, up about 2.5% in the last 24 hours. 
And this Bitcoin that used to be over 50,000 less than a month ago is at 42,327, up about 1.64%. Global market is at 1.86% and it's actually up about 1.31%. So again, why we go over the different top 10 and the different coins, you know, is to pay attention to things. Avalanche was busting through, going up, having a big gain. Solana did that. You know, we watch these different coins. So AM token, it's usually right there around number 59, number 60. Shiba Inu, we take a look at that. Cosmos, we've been taking a look at that. Um, Phantom coin was at number 44. Um, a lot of good things. So the top 10 is always good. So do me a favor. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any up and coming videos. So Packers players, Tampa Bay Buccaneers players, talking on TV, uh, about cryptocurrency, more and more people hearing it. When the celebrities are talking about it and, and they start tweeting about it, we know what happens. So, you know, definitely, I just think this big, every single Sunday and Monday and Monday Night Football and, and Sunday, we're going to be hearing about cryptocurrency on the football things. So one last thing here with the AMP token, Sheets Gas Station, convenience stores. I just wanted to show you this real quick. Sheets becomes the first C store chain to accept digital currency. Um, it talks about Sheets is in, um, entering the uh, Bitcoin space, becoming the first convenience store to chain to accept digital currency in the store at the pump. You know, we've been talking about this, but you know, how many are there? Well, watch this. There's currently 622 stores in Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, and Maryland. So with interest in digital currency reaching an all-time high, it's easy to lose sight of the fact that there are real tangible benefits for the merchants who accept them, not only reducing the fraud and cost saving, but also to better, more reliable customer experience. Just wanted to kind of cap that off. So what's my prediction with AMP token? You know, the high was in June. It went to 12 cents. I think by the end of the year, it can actually get to 12 cents, 11 cents, 10 cents. It's under 5 cents right now. All our information is for educational purposes only. We've been talking about the different price predictions. Everybody has it doing 9 cents, 10 cents, 12 cents. Some of them have 30 to 10 10 cents to 30 cents. I think it's going to at least get back up to its high that it did in June. But I like the fact that more and more um, things are being used by AMP token and Flex the Network. I also like the holding part that in just 60 days, more than double the people are holding um, the AMP token, you know, the addresses and stuff. So you know, if another 60 days we double again and more and more people keep getting involved in the AMP token, using the cryptocurrency, I mean, we know what that's going to do to the prices here. So so do me a favor. Um, thanks for tuning in. Every day, Monday through Friday, we do basically um, um, launch a video at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. On the weekends, on Saturdays, and Sundays, we do it between 3 and 4. Everybody, you guys have a fantastic day today on Thursday. Let's go ahead and have a great day.